Hello peeps, this is the trail, your trader is chick, where we trade indicator free other than the 21 EMA. Today I thought the market was giving me a repeat of yesterday, but the wicks weren't as bad, so I pressed on, leading to a green day. Keep pressing on peeps, red days are are part of the process and the market will have you doubting yourself but stick with it take extra care and green will come rinse and repeat i took three trades today for three wins let's review my first trade i took a second entry long which was a bounce off of the top of the trading range so prices came down off of the high of the day at that time into this smaller downtrend channel and then it started going sideways but making higher highs and higher lows each time so I think it was working its way back up to the high of the day because you know we had if you ever look at the daily chart you'll see we had so many large green bars and yesterday it was more like a doji type bar which so explains the price action from yesterday and I kind of have to remember to check things like that so I can you know have it in the back of my mind on knowing why prices are doing what it's doing and from what I understand after having you know it was more than three days of really big daily bars so having a smaller bar with very little movement is common so this trade worked out my second trade i took a higher low off the trend line now at this point prices were working sideways again but i was looking for a measured move from the very top thinking i was going to play it off of the bottom of the trend channel but the setup never came so then i got a higher low and you know it kind of sort of looks like a morning star so for that reason i took that trade and was it aggressive mm, i guess it depends on how you feel about it yes that ema is sideways but if you look at the overall picture prices are going up and i didn't think it was turning around just yet you know or it wasn't finished it wasn't finished at the point of okay we're going to range for a little while before going up or down so i felt we hadn't reached the decision quite yet in which direction but i felt still at this point we're still looking for a high of that overall uptrend channel so that's what made me feel comfortable taking this one my third and final trade i took a pivot candle in a strong uptrend so i'm trying to you know still go past my comfort zone and not sticking with just the two trades trying to catch these strong moves up or down so and when you have a really strong uptrend or downtrend when the bars are small like if they are within these one point boxes that is a really strong trend because each box of course is a point which is four ticks so the fact that there's 2,000 transactions in less than a point that's insane just to think about it so at that point any pivot candle in the direction of the trend will work out more times than not you just have to wait on a pivot candle and if you look at that uptrend from the last trade that i took you know there really wasn't any so you still have to be patient and just wait for those proper setups so that way your trades can work out more times than none hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and if you made it to the end i appreciate 
appreciate you for watching. Shout out to those who join me in the live stream this morning. If you missed it, I've linked the video replay here. Don't forget the Apex 90% off sale ends tonight at midnight. Welcome new members. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. on Twitch for the simulcast. May the trades always go your way.